Hey guys, you're watching Cutie Crafts. Happy New Year! It's finally 2018. Happy New Year! I'm gonna be showing you my updated perler bead collection for the year of 2017. And I feel like last year I didn't really make that many projects because I wasn't able to upload as many videos as I would have liked because of school and everything. But once I put all of my projects together and looking at everything that I made, it still seems like there's quite a lot of projects that I did. And hopefully you guys tried some of them or at least one of them. Maybe you just watched the videos and never did them. That's cool too. Although I didn't make that many videos, I also made different crafts and and other types of videos which I find really fun so maybe I get to do that this year as well. I just wanted to do a recap of the year and say a huge thank you to all of you guys who helped me reach 30,000 subscribers. That was my New Year's resolution of 2017 to reach that milestone and you guys helped me achieve that so thank you so much for your support. So let's take a look at everything I made last year and start off with the 2D projects. Starting with some Pokemon sprites, I made the Alola starters and their evolutions. There's Rowlet, Dartrix, and Decidueye. Litten, Toracat, and Incineroar. And Poplio, Brion, and Primarina. During a live stream, which I tried for the first time in 2017, I made the Kanto starters from a Super Mario Maker design. This mini beat Psyduck was made the day before I went to see this giant rubber duck. Ryan and Kumamon were made when I tried out Art Cow beads for the first time, and these Christmas ornaments were last minute decorations for my smaller tree. Moving on to 3D projects, I for some reason decided to make a perler bead Nutella container. I don't remember exactly how I decided to make it, but I just remember I had an idea, acted on it right away, and this was the result. Fidget toys somehow became a thing in 2017, and although I didn't really like the spinners, the cubes seemed interesting and bearable, so I took on the challenge of making a fidget cube out of perler beads that works better than I thought. It was also amazing to see some of you guys try this one out, and keep on sending those pictures to me whenever you make something. You may recognize these 3D Mario Brothers from Speed Beats tutorial, and I will leave a link in the description if you want to make these as well. I'm so happy with how they turned out, and Speed Beats design was just so cute. Nintendo came out with the Switch last year, and I made a 3D Switch picture frame since I didn't really want to buy the real thing yet, and I still had a perfectly good Wii U. I made some Yoshi Easter eggs last April that pair very well with my other YouTube friend Philo Pixies. 3D Yoshi, so these were also a great addition to the collection. To show my absolute love for bubble tea, I made some perler bead containers that can hold a few pens and pencils or other items like polymer clay charms that I've collected over the years. The only Minecraft character I designed this year was a skeleton, which wasn't easy because the body is pretty much hollow and it was hard to balance, but it worked out and it was cool to try out so many different shades of Art Cal beads. Here are some Perler bead cacti for anyone who's incapable of raising plants like me. An emoji piggy bank to help save up on some more craft supplies. An emoji container that holds some of the mini bead pins that I made in the summer. A fire emoji holder that is probably best suited for holding your cell phone. Emoji picture card holders slash stands. I have a photo card in one of them and you can put to-do lists or notes in them too. And the biggest emoji project and probably my largest 3D project overall, this is a six-faced tissue box cover where the tissues can come out of an emoji's mouth. Lastly, here are the latest things I made, some 3D gift boxes for my Christmas tree. So those are all the projects that I made. Thank you guys so much for watching. Since it's the New Year's, I'm gonna set myself a New Year's resolution. I think I'm gonna try to post more on Instagram and other social media sites so that I can engage with you guys in other ways. I also wanna make videos where maybe I show my face more often because that will definitely help me with my interview skills that I'm gonna need very soon. Let's set a goal of 40,000 subscribers by the end of 2018 because last year my New Year's resolution was to reach 30,000 and you guys helped me reach that so thank you so much once again hope you guys have a great day and i will see you guys next time with another cutie craft bye